Championship final. We've got a repeat of the national championships of Japan. Yeah. It's Asami and Fukumi yeah. round 10. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, we go. and probably fighting for the place in the Olympic team. Exactly. Yeah. Now it's getting really tight. I exactly. mean, Sato's face when she lost yes. was a picture because it was more than just losing to Montero. It was more than losing here. It was a gap, you know, really opening up between her mm. and uh, Matsumoto Kaori and so yeah. many of these matchups. Um, I mean, in particular with the Japanese lightweight women, you know, are going to mean a, a lot more beyond this competition here in Yeah, but, but there's more acid in these fights here than there has been normally with these fighters. That's you know, right. they sort of go to That's goals right. and score and let the referee decide. Yeah. But this, here they're really deciding the bugs themselves. Although in that 73 kilo semi final with um, uh, Nakaya and. Um, yeah, it was N N yeah. Nakaya Nakimoto. Yeah. Yeah. He, he pulled out of the arm lock because mm -hmm. yeah. they'd been treating his arm with yes. ice and everything. And that, that <laughs> not his training partner, but <laughs> he knew it. He had it. And then he, yeah, he, he went he, by the time he went to, to the ground, yeah. his arm slipped off yeah. it. Yeah. That was a bridge too far, wasn't it, to put the arm lock on your mate, you know, when you know that he's got a dodgy well, arm. It would be interesting to know how much when we say that they're your mates, because at this level, yeah. it's not like, um, you know, they, they are fighting each other quite regularly. Yeah, and, and well, Bischoff and I don't think Bischoff and Maresh are mates. No, I mean, why would you be? And, and definitely not Schlesinger <laughs> and um, Jerby. We know yeah, they're not mates. Yeah. You know, secret there. Yeah. And the, the Canadian girls, you know, mm. they're, they're, you know, head to head. So, yeah, there are there are a few that are, you yeah. know, not well, best buddies. One can assume that they're in the same team, but uh, you know that, and you can make an assumption that they're mates. But I don't yeah. know if yeah. that actually follows yeah. through. That one, I think. Mm. You know, that was. Uh, you don't let that arm slip off. Um, yeah. Hashbatar um, letting Ebenuma out of that Osai, Osai Komi. Yeah. We said that his, his uh, Niwaza isn't that great, but to, mm. you know, to let the you know, world champion escape. Yes. You know, and he only shaded it on that Yuko. He was um, kind of lucky, isn't it? Not mm. lucky, but uh, he, did, he did enough. But mm. you want a bigger gap you know, <laughs> if you're fighting <laughs> a world champion. Anyway, the two... Um, lightweight battlers are um, repeating what we've seen on many occasions. They do go for it because no. I don't think these two are mates. No. You know? <laughs> but, uh, but even more so now, with um, they, they have to put their hand up for say, look, pick me for the Olympics. That's right. You've got to send, the send a message. Well, the country qualifies. That's not done. Not the player. Yep. When both when a country has more than one fighter in the qualification um, area, either the top 14 for women or the top 22 for men, then it's the nation that decides who goes. Mm. So um, one of these two, actually, there are four of them. Mm. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so we could be watching two people who might not be going. That's right. Okay, chances are that it will be yeah. one of these two. But uh, Yamagishi is at home. She was silver medalist last year. She's qualified. I think there's one other, either Abe or Kondo Kaori, one of the others. But mm. There's a few of them up there. But you could have a situation where these guys are good at fighting each other. And um, someone is more dominant against, say, the European yeah, style. Exactly. You know, so you might pick That's them. That's what you've got to look for. Yeah. yeah. Not who, who wins the head-to-head. -head. No. Although, at w when you get to right at the top where they are number one and two in the world, it yep. doesn't matter. No. Then it doesn't matter. No. But, it, but, it, but it's a very, very good point. It's not who wins the head-to-head -head where, where there's this gap. Yep. Because you might have this one mm. who's actually better at uh, fighting you know, the, the people that they're going to meet in the Olympics That's and right. not the ones who they're you know, fighting at home. Because this is the one person that uh, um, Fukumi won't fight at the Olympics. No. Another exactly, Japanese. Exactly. So it doesn't matter. It's who, yeah. who she beats. Yes. Well. Asami's um, she's gone up behind here. Yeah. Fukumi it is. Who leads with that uh, Yuko on the back of the penalty that she's just um, drawn really against uh, Asami. A little bit of uh, passivity. Just taking a little bit of time to get into it. That's the group of Komatsu fans and they're uh, cheering for Asami, a Komatsu em employee. How much she knows about heavy trucks and <laughs> stuff, I don't <laughs> know. But uh And diggers. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you can just see her with her hard hat on, driving one of those big yellow um, trucks. 
earth movers or whatever it is. He does fight for the Komatsu team though. So. Dave's, al Dave's already receiving fan mail. <laughs> you know, he's only been up there for five minutes. Oh. <laughs> it's probably his sympathy mail for not making the final block. Oh dear. <laughs> Let's not go there. I did no. promise um, Juan Carlos that I wouldn't bring up any refereeing matters of, <laughs> of specific nature. No. <laughs> the thing about this, this particular event is okay, there's a lot riding on it, but it's this 400 100 points, points yeah. you know. This is bigger than a Grand Slam. And of course, it, it would be because, you know, you've got this concentration of sure. high-quality fighters. But you can, argue, you can argue that it's the rich getting richer, though. Yeah, I mean, to get here, you have yeah. to be in the top 16. And so here's you have another chance. Yeah, yeah. Here's another 400. Yeah, you know, yeah, so on top of it. The rich getting richer. Yeah. Well, what it does, it, it, and, and here's the other side of that coin. Yeah, it's, it's money for old growth, <laughs> you know, in a way. Yeah. And yet, these players now will not go to a World Cup. No, 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 no. There's no need. But the thing about it, what I like about this event is that you have, a, it's the top 16 irrespective of country. Yep. So yeah, you can have right. four Japanese yeah, or six yeah. Japanese, if yeah. you know. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. so th it's their chance to prove they're better than the number the one. Than the number yeah, one, yeah. Or the three or two or whatever it happens to be. The thing I like about it, though, is it keeps the, um, it keeps the, um, the big guns out of the other qualifying uh, tournaments yeah. because I've already spoken to people who are like, you know, number 12, 13, 14. Mm. They don't go to um, World Cups. No. They don't need. They're only no. aiming for Grand Prix sure. or Grand Slam or, yeah. or Masters. And this is especially true of the women because yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they're top 14. Yeah, so there's right. not enough points in the World Cups yeah, to yeah. get in there. So you have to chase the Grand Prix and the Grand Slams. Anyhow, here we have... Fukumi it is, who um, turns over her teammate, Asami. She takes the um, she takes the title here. That's the uh, the master's title. Asami's got the one that um, really matters, though. The last two world championships, <laughs> she's won. And uh, I mean, th they'll they'll look at the fight. They'll know, you know, who, who that they're looking at. And to be shaded out on a single shido on a penalty, mm -hmm. you yeah. know. Well, 